Hey guys, I'm Tim with Original Strength and this week I wanted to show you how to play on the floor so that you could increase the ability of your hips or just help your hips to feel better and also build strength in your body to be able to transition from one place to another. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. So if you can, now this is one that does require the ability to squat. And if you don't have the ability to squat, well, I'll, I'll, I'll try to make another one of these videos to kind of get you there as well. But if you have the ability to squat, so, and you, it might be just easy to start from all fours, but you're gonna get yourself into a squatting position. And we're just gonna start out by slowly we're gonna take our hands and put them off to the side and allow our knees to drop towards the floor. So this is moving our hips uh, down towards the floor and then we're going to push back. So you've got your weight over your hands and then you're gonna push back and then you're gonna take your hands to the other side and allow your knees to drop down to the floor. So this is almost kind of looks like and resembles the monkey crawl. And really what it is is a transition to get you to the monkey crawl and if you don't know what the monkey crawl is, it is, you know, just moving from one side of your body to the other. But all we're doing is placing our hands away from us, out from center, and then transitioning our body over our hands. And if you want to, you can really exaggerate placing your weight over your hands and allowing those knees to go towards the floor and then push yourself back. And you don't have to just do this out in the front plane. We can also be deliberate in going back and doing the same thing. And we can stay, well, I'll, I'll break this down. I know I'm about to get squirrely. But so, so maybe we start out going in the front. And then maybe from the front, we push back to the back and come back to the front. And it does help if you look where you want to go. So if I want to go there, I'm going to look there. And if I want to go back there, I'm going to look back there. And then from here, I can go over here to back here. Now say I want to go from back here to over there. I look, I start to shift, and I reach. And if I want to go back, So all we're doing is we are, I guess, targeting different places around our body and then putting our hands there and letting our hips relax towards that direction. They're really relaxing and falling towards that direction. And then with a weight shift, we just allow our hips or encourage our hips to move underneath our body and our intention of where we wanna go. And then this can also lead to, like I'm using both hands now, but I don't have to. You know, we can, we can go anywhere. And we're just, so we're developing the ability and the coordination and the fluidity to just get our body to move underneath us or where we want it to go. And it, we are using glance, don't have to, but we're using glance and tension, reach, and just letting the hips go and relax in the direction we want to go. And eventually this can lead to the fluidity or the ability to transition from one spot to another so that you can fluidly move where and as, as you want to. Okay, so it's a simple little trip, a trip. It's a simple little trip to not fall uh, drill that you can do and play with at home and just spend time there and just allow your hips to move where, where your body will let them move. And what you'll find is, is that more and more your body will give you the ability to move a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit more movement, a little bit more movement. And, and you just piece your movements and your ability to move together. That's it. That's our drill this week is just playing in the squat. And again, if you can't squat, if you can't sit in a squat like that, you can, you can still play. We can start out here, just reaching away from us and then shifting our body weight over our hands and back 
over our hands and back. And this too can ultimately give you the ability to start playing around. So don't feel like if you can't do a squat, you can't do this at all. But again, we can make another video for another time on that. Play with this as, as you feel the need to and let us know what you think. Thanks for paying attention to my rambling. I'm Tim with Original Strength and we'll see you next time.